my place with the nice breeze I blow. I'm so, Mr. Holt, thank you for inviting me to your farm. No problem at all. Yes, sir. Um, tell me, I would like to know how did you get into gold farming? I know you as some person who writes articles, but how did you get into gold farming? How long? Well, actually, what happened I was in Darien. I, I used to, I was working at Spring Hall with ADC. I used to buy milk from a man and he said he was too old. So he sold me the cow and I used to turn around and sell him the milk. And we decided the cows went abroad and all this bulk collection and various things. We decided to back out of the Point Hill Dairy set up. And I sold the cows and bought two goat kids just as a hobby for the children. Yes. And then somebody asked me to supply them with milk. And then it got into a fellow who was running a health food store. And from there it got to the supermarkets and it just kept going and going. By 1994 or so we had like 150 just from start. Now they're bought in a few additional laws too. Yeah. But if you keep your females and you keep breeding, you can expand. expand yes. It grows on you. Goats are strange animals. They're, they're more like dogs yeah. than sheep or cows. Of they're course. very um, personal animals. In other words, you, you chase a sheep, you herd sheep, but you walk in front of goats and they follow you. They're strange animals in many ways. They've got a lot of, a lot of personality. You mentioned just now um, purchasing, person purchasing milk. And mm. right. what, what is the market like for goat milk? And, and, you know, it, is a good, is it? it is a good niche market. You, you can't put it better than that at this stage. We, um, there are a lot of mothers with babies who can't take formula, they can't take cow's milk, but the the thrive on, on goat's milk. Yes. There's a lady who wins a lot of prizes at dog shows and her Irish setter virtually lives on goat's oh, milk. Oh. And every Christmas he sends some lovely Ferrero Rocher. I uh, can tell you from the dog. Yes. By the dog name. So <laughs> there's that market and there's a lot of people into health, bodybuilding. Yes. Fellas who want to make a hit with the ladies, they feel that goat milk is something. The, the beauty of goat's milk is that is very easily digested. Yes. Okay guys, Leandro Stroke for Food Rocks once again. I've been blessed with some milk from Mr. Hood. He says this one is good for the guys. I'm gonna take these two and make something special for you. So follow me. Okay guys, so we've left Hood's farm and we've come back to my friend's place and we're about to make some lovely goat's milk ice cream. So just follow me. We're gonna start with our ingredients and we're gonna run through this very quickly but precisely so you can get this right okay so we're going to use some holds goat's milk we're going to use the egg yolks some sugar we have our ice cream maker and our bowls we're going to go here wrap the egg usually for the six or well four if they were big four big egg yolks you use maybe about a cup to a cup and a half of sugar and what we're going to do we're going to whisk this thing while I whisk this in, I'm going to pour some goat's milk on the stove to get warm. Same concept as making a meringue with the whites. Now that my egg yolks and sugar are mixed, slowly add the goat's milk to this. Because the goat's milk is such a light and flavorful type of milk, it has a delicate you know, texture to it. You don't want to heat it past 74 to 75 degrees because you bring out too much of that that rankness or the goaty flavor that people complain about a lot. So there we go. It's always thin. Nice and smooth. Now, we want some flavor for ice cream. So I have a tad bit of coconut essence. If you're going to go by measurement, you're going to use about a tablespoon of this. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this over the stove to tighten it up a bit over a pot of water and allow it to cool before we put it into our ice cream maker. Okay, so we have finished our whisking. Nice texture. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow this to cool a bit. Then we're going to put it in the fridge, allow it to cool some more and then put it into our ice cream maker. Allow it to set in the ice cream maker and then put it in the freezer to pull itself together before serving it to our guests. So sit tight for that. We have our Sunbeam ice cream maker. I have some rock salt. This helps keep the ice nice and frosty and cold. We're gonna put some of our rock salt on top of the ice. And what we'll do, we'll take our ice cream mixture and pour it into here. 
use our spatula to get all of our goat's milky goodness out. And we're going to set our blade in place. As this rotates, we're going to let it set, come back and check this in about 15 minutes or so, and then we'll serve. Okay, so our motor is off, and we're going to take our paddle out. Some lovely looking ice cream in this set, beautifully. So, our bowl. Beautiful ice cream. Sexy goat's milk ice cream. I mean, you couldn't want it any better than that. Nice ice cream. And we're gonna put some sprinkles on that just because they're big kids in us. And here you have it, your goat's milk ice cream. It's really lovely. Well, once again, guys, this is Leandro Stroke for Food Rocks. Enjoy.